And we're ready to start our first match between the uh, two bowlers, and we're going to go with the uh, junior boys competition. This is Dave Feliciano. He was seated number one in this tournament going into today. And Dave Carter is his opponent. Dave Carter was seated number four, but he has bowled very well today, Jules, to uh, make his way to uh, this final TV match. Yeah. And this is uh, Feliciano bowling his first frame on 47, and he strikes. I think this is going to be a good match because uh, young Dave Feliciano shot a 700 series to get here. And uh, young Davey Carter just shot 660 to make his way to challenge him. And here's Carter. He's bowled very, very well today. In his first frame, he leaves the three pick. Two very powerful boys for their age. Yes, Jules, uh, Davey is really a comer. Uh, I, 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 I was working with him about a year ago and uh, just was, just was act actually too weak. But uh, he's really a comer and uh, he bowls a lot. His brother's a good bowler, his father's a good bowler. Uh, I would have to say he's got to be the favorite in the match. But uh, young Dave uh, Feliciano just come off a 279, 704, so you can't underestimate that. And he just come, he just opened up with a powerful strike, square in the pocket. And certainly so. We've got a good match here. Carter did make that spare, so he has that spare working in the first. He'll bowl in the second now. Crosses over. Yeah, a little high. As as you remember, the right-handers from the exhibition match. The, uh, the right-hand alley wasn't hooking as much for the right-handers. The left-hand alley was hooking more. Uh, young Carter just showed the same thing. He was light on 48 and high on 47. Let's see if he has trouble just adjusting to the pair. So the lefty picks up the 4-7, and so far so good for Dave Carter. He has 18 after a frame, spare in the second. Dave Feliciano, he's 15 years old, uh, 15 years old, that is, from uh, Newcastle, in carriage run. And in his second frame, it's very high, and there's some trouble. That's all right. Uh, young Dave is a game bowler. Uh, one open shouldn't hurt him too bad, especially because uh, David Carter's not on a strike. And he does have that strike going in the first. This is the 4 7 10. He's going to give it a go. Oh, just Real missed close. getting that four pin. If he had hit it, uh, he had a shot at it. But with that, we have an 18 for Dave in the first and now a 26 in the second. OK, Dave Feliciano, he's got a, he's got a pretty good swing, which is going to help him keep the ball in play. He's going to have to learn how to get his legs into the game a little bit. If we notice how his follow through is chopped off and how he's loses his bounce a little bit at the end. He's got to get his body weight back, his, his, his torso, upper body weight, back over his feet so he can slide into the shot. Well, the uh, end is very uh, good there for him that time, however. He gets That's a strike. Sir. He strikes uh, for the second time on that left lane, so he has a strike going in the top half of the third. Dave Carter now bowling in his third. Boom! Uh, showing, five pin really flew over and kicked out the 10 yeah, that time. He's showing uh, a little bit of experience there. He's really been bowling a long while. Uh, his ball is developing. His ball develops by the week. You know, when they're that young, and the power develops by the week. Amazing Dave Carter. He's just 13 years old. He's bowling in the fourth. I can remember uh, a couple of years ago, Davey had a 288 when he was 11. It was one of the highest games shot by an 11-year-old in the country. I don't know if it was the highest or not, but I know it was one of them. They were looking into it. He's in big trouble, this frame, though, with this. That's called an ugly. It certainly is. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of pins there. The 1379. Dave Carter shot at it. Oh. Nine out. So that's going to make the match with back within pins. So with that open frame in the fourth, Dave Carter with a uh, 66. Oh, it evens the game right up. And now Dave Feliciano working on a, on a strike. There's a strike here, have a 10 pin lead. Here it is. Down goes the five, and yes, it's a double now yes, for Feliciano. That so gives him a 10 pin lead. Dave Feliciano, 15, and again from uh, Newcastle. Yeah. Dave and Virginia Feliciano, his parents. And it's he has nice. uh, two sisters. Yeah nice when you have a good swing to start with. 
it's pretty clean, pretty straight. And once he gets his uh, legs into the game, he's going to develop into a hell of a player. And that strike really has uh, put him in good position here as we are midway through the fifth frame, and we'll be back with more bowling in a moment. Fifth frame, we have Dave Feliciano with a strike in the third, fourth, and fifth. He has 56 in the third frame. Dave Carter now bowling in the fifth frame. He has a 66 after an open frame in the fourth. Looks like Dave is getting a little fast. Maybe, maybe the uh, added pressure that uh, young Dave Feliciano put on him. But uh, he was a little fast that time. Dave Carter had the early lead, but now behind. He's trying to pick up the spare here in the fifth. And he's got it. Just a bat. Better be careful of that, huh? Was uh, just nicking that on the left side, really. Yeah. So uh, I have to agree with you, Jules. It looks like the speed has picked up a little bit on his yeah. ball. And on this, this lane 47, he was high the first frame, left to wash out the second frame. Let's see what he does this time. This is Dave Carter. A little tentative in a swing. But it's all there. Stoned it. <laughs> it is all there. That gives Dave Carter 86 after five frames. Maybe he decided to steer the ball and aim it a little bit. It'll still be a 20 pin lead for Dave Feliciano. It will really be in the driver's seat if he can get this one. A little high, but it's all there. Yes, sir. And that's four in a row for young Dave Feliciano. He was uh, the number one seed going into uh, today's match. It was a stair-step tournament, so Dave Carter fought his way through three matches to get here onto the TV game to face Feliciano, and uh, so far, Dave has been up to the challenge. Bowling in the seventh. That was high for sure, and yeah. he leaves the three pit. Okay, this is one of the... He's got so many strikes. It's only the second time we're going to watch him shoot a spare. And, and in fact, the first one was a split. That's right. Way back in the second, he left yeah. that uh, tough 4 7 10. This time, something far easier in the three pin. Here's Feliciano's attempt at that. He slides by, and that's trouble. Yeah, he let, he's going to let Davey Carter back in the match. So now, Dave Feliciano, he had a. Uh, 29 pin lead after five, but now that's going to close it up a little bit. Well, let's see if Dave Carter can take advantage of this mistake. There it is. And that makes it a double for Dave Carter after frames six and seven. And that tightens things up for sure as we have Feliciano with a 143 after seven frames with that open. Seven pins. Really close game now. Dave Carter can. Uh, Turn the pressure back to Dave Feliciano with another strike here. Yeah, this is the go-ahead ball. It's usually the one that carries the most pressure with it. Go-ahead ball. And there we see the pressure, <laughs> the proof of the pressure. Yeah, that was a little high, and he, uh, with the 4-7 uh, there to pick up, leaves him with 114 after six frames. And of course, he's got the strike going in the uh, seventh. If he covers it, he'll be down by nine pins. Yes. There it is. Okay. The easiest way to tell the quality of a bowler is to watch him when he needs a strike. If a bowler needs five in a row to win, he throws the first four and doesn't throw the fifth one, then he's not the guy. It's the guy that can throw the one he needs. Dave okay, Feliciano coming right back after that open frame and comes up with a strike here at lane 47. We're at Holiday Lanes this afternoon. Chris Michaels with Dr. Bowl, Jules Falcone. Jules, you were talking with uh, one of the folks in the exhibition match earlier, Rita Justice, about her game. Yeah, Rita has a real fine game. Uh, she has so much to work with, it really makes it easy for a guy like me. I only have to pick out one or two things. Nothing wrong with that one as Dave Feliciano has put together a double, and it looks like these two guys are going to wind up in the 200s before yeah, this one is Dave's over. Yeah, Dave's got seven out of nine strikes, and the other two are open. It doesn't seem to matter when you can throw all those strikes out. When you put them in a row, that really helps the score. Here comes Dave Carter. Carter's mixing it up. Is the 10 pin going to go? No. So he's left with that 10 pin, and now has a count of 153 in the eighth. 20 pins. And he really does need this mark, doesn't he? Yes, he sure does. He's out of it if he misses a spare. And he covers the 10 pins, so we go to the 10th frame, and Dave Carter will bowl to open up the 10th. 
And this is where he really has to apply himself, put the pressure on Feliciano, although Dave Feliciano has uh, two strikes in the eighth and ninth. Yes, Dave Feliciano can get a mark and win. Carter has to get a double here to put the pressure on Feliciano. A double and a seven count would give Carter a 200 game. The first one's not there. Four jammed a little bit. That's what I thought he was going to get back in about the uh, sixth frame when he struck, when, he's, when, his, uh, when he got a little cautious with his swing. So the sixth pin remains standing after that first ball by Dave Carter in the tenth. And again, he'll cover that one. Nice game, though. Nice game. The only open he's got is the washout. That's right, that uh, tough one when he had the uh, seven pin sticking out of the uh, one, three, and nine. And, one, three, seven, nine, right. And he just uh, couldn't cover that one. Yeah. A very tough shot to make just the same. And Carter, with a strike here, would wind up with a 192. And again, the 10 pin, as he's left uh, the six or 10 in his last few shots, the mm -hmm. crowd giving Dave Carter a hand and a well-deserved one as he bowls a 191. And that is his first game under 200 today. So you're going to give Dave Carter a lot of credit. He has bowled well all day long. And, and Dave Feliciano trying to put him away. He does it. That's, That's about strikes. all he needed. Eight strikes out of 10. Well, don't worry about Dave Carter. We'll see him time and again. He's one of them young bowlers that really have a lot of quality in this game. He'll be back. He's still young. He has a couple years left in the junior division. Now, on the other hand, Dave Feliciano moving to a senior division bowler very soon. And Feliciano putting on an exhibition now as he wraps up this game. He is going to win this championship in the Junior Bowlers Gazette. He's letting the seniors know junior he's ready. Boy, if that's true. <laughs> as he is going to wind up with a game, an excess of 230 if he counts well here. And it looks like that's no problem. He strikes out 233 for Dave Feliciano, and he's the champion of the junior boys and gets a well-deserved hand. There they are, Dave Feliciano. He's on the left, Dave Carter on the right, and a good game. So the final score, Dave Feliciano, 233, Dave Carter, 191. And we'll be back with another division of junior bowling in just a moment. 